Captain's log, day after the hurricane. No idea what sort of damage we're finding. So far, it doesn't look too bad there. Uh, our power only went off once, so it wasn't too bad. It's still super duper windy outside. Let's see what sort of destruction we got. Okay, we got a few branches down. Broken tree right there. Bunch more branches. But so far, we're not seeing any major trees. We're gonna grab a private pile, go drive around. And then we gotta run up to the airport and check on the airplanes. Last night, we were sleeping, it was crazy windy. The winds got up to about 75 miles an hour here. We we're roughly 100 miles inland from either coast. Uh, right now, they're still getting nailed over on the east coast now because the hurricane has moved across the coast. And now those winds are kicking up on the Atlantic side. So St. Augustine, Daytona Beach, all that area got, got nailed pretty, pretty good. So far, this area seems to be all right. So let's, uh, let's hop in the truck and see what we can find. Got the Humvee loaded up, ready to go see the damage and if anybody Looks like a power line there. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not touching this one. I got a power line there. That is a bummer. This road is closed. Man. In the neighborhood looks good for here just some trees uh, tree branches things like that 
we had a couple of larger trees that it were pushed over but thankfully nobody was hurt it doesn't even look like the houses were really damaged because well here in the neighborhood they keep all the trees far away from houses for this exact reason we need to go check on the airplanes and see how they fared through this whole thing so uh, got flooding coming over the road on this part right here not too bad and what I do know is I've got Grizzly lives up in this part of the the state here and he said the power has been off since midnight last night and they don't have power anywhere up through here none of the stoplights have been working nothing so they're back in the dark ages oh man that got taken out That's a bummer. this tree fell on the house man Hey, look, it's our first sign of power. All those others, a few other gas stations back there were all dark and quiet, all the stoplights, but this one is showing a flashing. So that's good. Somebody's got power up here somewhere. There's something you never expected to see. Taco Bell literally has a line of cars all the way out to the road. What? Rolling up on the airport now. One tree down. Another tree down right there. Looks like uh, lots of rain. Yeah, another tree pushed over there. We got these hangers. Those look to be okay. That's good. Well, this gate got busted came off of the thing so I guess we're not getting out this gate we're gonna have to go around I am thankful that the code actually works so they have power here that's good these planes here got tore up pretty bad that one definitely moved but it looks like it stayed tied down and just got scooched over and then that little thing right there Hallelujah, they were able to move all of those airplanes. Oh, almost all of them. These must be the people that don't pay their rent on time. Looks like they stayed pretty safe. They don't look like they moved too much. That's good. Everything looks, looks nice and safe. See what we got. No, oh, come on. Oh, I got the other lock. There's silver bullet in there. We can see it. Well, good news, bad news. Good news is I got a text from uh, the guy that works here. He said no damage on the airport property. So that's a very good thing. Bad news is nobody's here at the FBO. They're gone, I guess, until tomorrow. Uh, and, he, and he has my key to get into the hangar and to see the other airplanes. So I'm going to take him at his word that they're fine. So that's a okay with me. Whew. Now we need to go out and we're just going to go see who else may need some help. And I still, it's possible that I'll still get called up. So now it's time for the cleanup. I'm in the airport. This is an army job. 